hello beautiful people how are you all you guys already know when i'm sitting on the floor this means we're about to have a heart to heart let's have a one-on-one -on -one chat because child i've been you know i've actually been in a really good headspace i think this is the best headspace that i've ever been in and i've just really been enjoying where i'm at i was watching another video and it was so funny because every time you're always like after i finish you after i finish my exams i'm gonna i'll be happier when i get to this stage i'll be happier when i get to this stage or like after uni once i start working i'll be happy i'll have money but then you start working and then you get more bills and you're like once i you know it, it, there's always something or once i earn more then i'll be able to get this and one thing i started to realize is that i never ever really appreciated where i was at and i think having a lot of free time has allowed me to figure out actually i actually appreciate where i'm at so it just makes me like reevaluate a lot of my thinking a lot of like i don't know it's just like a refresh which i'm really really appreciating and definitely if you can have a break from work 100%. i was born to be a woman of leisure <laughs> Snapchat is a rude, it's rude, it's not is a rude, it's rude because Snapchat memories showed me a picture of when I was back in uni. I might like put a picture right here of what it was and it was me in this gorgeous orange dress. And it's so funny because when I was in university, I thought I was huge, I thought I was really, really big. Looking back, I'm like, oh my gosh, what a silly, silly, silly sausage. Like what the heck, you were fine. I was always, I was always healthy but I would always do this thing where I would always diet. It was never a thing of like a lifestyle change. I would always like the quick fix to lose as much weight as possible. And obviously when you're younger, your metabolism is, you know, is snatched. Like give yourself seven days and you're back to being skinny. But you know, as you get older, you might even give yourself a couple of months, a couple of weeks, a couple of, you know, years, you know, to get back to being like really, really fit. And as they say, it is really a, a lifestyle change. And I was finding that I was looking back at where I was versus looking at now and always doing that comparison thing. Comparison is really the thief of joy because when I was back then I was comparing to what I was before so <laughs> sweetie why, why do we do this to ourselves like honestly why do we do this to ourselves we put ourselves through this emotional torture it's just like you emotionally abuse yourself which is just it's just not healthy I think for me I always had this thing where it's like I need to lose all the weight that I've gained over in the years in seven days baby girl that's that's really that's really really not healthy and it's not realistic at all if you do want to embark on a weight loss journey it takes time and the hardest thing about weight loss is is the you everyone always says that oh my gosh like just stop eating and lose weight and they make it seem so simple but it's really not that simple because it's very mental it's emotional and especially when you have like a lot of people have a lot of triggers when i was stressed i would have food so i would kind of be like yeah you know i've had like such a long day i've deserved it and then every day of the week i'm like yes i've had a long day i deserve it <laughs> i deserve this lunch <laughs> i deserve this mcdonald's and kfc and domino's all in one way like, i deserve it all it's finding out what your emotional triggers are because at the end of the day it's all mental like all of this is all mental but i don't feel like people realize how hard it is mentally to lose weight because you can you can have that motivation but motivation is not long lasting motivation happens for like seven days and like you know do you know what i mean i'm an emotional eater i don't know what it is but i've just got into this i wasn't before but i just got into this really bad habit of like i would eat my feelings away just because i find comfort within food i, I can't be the only one like you find comfort within food. always have this mentality of like i need to treat myself now because i'm feeling down i feel like also family members can contribute to weight gain because they've seen you at your skinniest and some some nationalities like to be really vocal about if you gained weight i remember there was one auntie and she was like to me she she hadn't seen me in years and then she was like to me bola it's enough you've eaten enough and i was just thinking first of all is that how you greet people first first of all let's go there and second of all like you don't know what's going on in someone's life you could be going through that person could be going through a really tough time and you've been really inconsiderate to tell me not to eat like how how logical is that how like how is that gonna better me and like rather than for you to be like oh hi how are you is everything okay i think um that's 
that's that's where I feel like people need to come more so at. Um, people assume when they see like someone who's overweight or who's obese, they just think, okay, just cut your calories from 2,000 down to 500. Only have 500 calories, only drink water, only have soup. Like in the short term, that may work, but in the long term, it's not gonna be beneficial. And you're gonna get in this cycle where you lose weight and then you put it all back on. Like I used to watch a show called The Biggest Loser and watching them like lose weight is amazing. But a lot of them found that they actually gained the weight if not more weight later on after the show has finished because um they were on such a restrictive diet and being on a restrictive diet a lot of times is not beneficial as soon as i say i can't have this certain food it makes me want it even more i crave it even more as soon as i'm like i can't have any snacks and i find that when i do that it just it just doesn't work it just doesn't help at all quitting my job <laughs> quitting my job um i think it just it just allows me to take everything day by day i'm trying to be more conscious but i'm also trying to make sure that i find what triggers me and find all ways that i can combat myself from emotional eating so if like, that means like i have food i always have food now prepped in the fridge like no matter what there is some type of food fruit bowl or something so if i am hungry i have this or if if i feel like i am peckish i have this so i always have something ready so i have no excuse if i do want to have a biscuit i'll have a biscuit uh there's one biscuit though that i just every time i eat it i, I really eat the whole packet it's these gorgeous caramel salted caramel cookies from um sainsbury's every time i just that that's the one biscuit i can't not not eat so um, <laughs> i make sure that you know you know what if i'm eating it all like it, it is what it is like we move on there is a, it's a brand new day it's just having that balance and finding that balance within your diet it's just finding out what what works for you there's just so many different things that i started to implement that is working better for me so things that i like do like to do is mental affirmations so sometimes i like to talk to myself in the mirror <laughs> I know that sounds really sad but um especially when I watched this Netflix special cheer I was obsessed with it um I think I might watch it again because it just reminds me where determination can get get you and they always chant I can I will I must and I, sometimes I try and remind myself that I can I will and must what I'm doing now is I'm having like a lot of support groups with different groups of my friends so we will just talk about like oh how's your week been you feel like you could be better just having support groups and people who are also in the same position as you a food diary that's quite good i've tried that and um, the only reason why i did i haven't continued with that was because it was a little bit long-winded writing it every day to my friends do a food diary into my fitness pal so i can just keep a track of um what i'm eating because a lot of times you feel like you're eating less than what you are even if i go over my calories it's fine like i don't like i just use it as a way just to track like oh okay you know this this just to be more conscious about what i'm eating just realizing like oh do i really want want it if it's that many calories as well some things i'm like damn nah it's not really worth it i might as well just have like a fruit or banana and i'll be i'll be more satiated but again if i do want that biscuit it's just reminding myself it's not really worth it in the long run um and what is the reason that i'm eating it am i eating it because of an emotional trigger that set me off and i'm upset and that's why i'm eating it then no sweetie you can't like you don't need a habit you need to sort out what the issue is first and um, before going straight to emotional eating but another thing that i do is like follow other youtubers who are into like health and fitness and one person who's really like inspiring me is this lady called stephanie buttermore and she has been oh my god she has she's so interesting in terms of like her her weight gain journey because she just found that she was always hungry and i'm i'm really not about being always hungry like for me it's just it just doesn't work because it just causes me to eat more like the following week i want to be satiated with whole foods i don't want to be starving it's just not worth it and it just hasn't worked for me like me like pu pushing down my food portions to such a size that it's just unrealistic to maintain and sustain because as soon as you start cutting your calories you have to continually cut your calories to maintain what you are too grown to be keep on with waffling and having like two leaves you know of a salad i actually want to be full on good foods hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you are on a weight loss journey please comment down below you can follow me on instagram if you want to see how i'm doing usually like i'm always posting like new recipes that i'm trying like recently i tried oatmeal pancakes they were delicious so definitely like just finding healthier 
alternative. So yeah, I've tried overnight oats as well. Never tried that before. Um, very, very nice. If you want to come with me on the journey, then you can come on with me onto Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and also just a reminder that you are honestly fabulous no matter what size you are. And that's why I'm just trying to make sure that I'm enjoying who I am and where I am. That your weight doesn't define you. You just have to make sure that you are happy with who you are and where you are in life just take every day as it comes and i think just just always just try and be positive and just try and always just look forward and you know what if one day doesn't go well there's always the next day there's always the next day you know and don't be so hard on yourself because i know i am so yeah but i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video Bye.